Hi guys and welcome to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Drayton Park Golf Club. I'm out on our putting green. I want to show you a really simple but really effective exercise to really work on your putting. So this is all about trying to marry up the club face, the strike, the path. So what I've simply done is I've coloured in a golf ball. It is starting to come off a little bit. Uh, the other way of doing it, if you don't want to colour in the whole golf ball, is just put a line the whole way around the golf ball like I've done on this. And you'll see with my GoPro when I go ahead and hit some of these, my aim is to try and get the roll, ball rolling end over end. I was trying to find a flat putt. We actually haven't really got many flat putts on our putting green and the course is pretty busy. But ideally find a flat area. It doesn't even need to be towards the hole that I am aligning myself here. I've made it just a little clearer for video as well by using my putting mirror. So I've actually got a black line which is representing my start line which is just outside the right edge of the hole. I've lined the ball up to that and I'm going to try and line the putter up to that. To get the ball rolling end over end, okay, so that line stays in the centre, I know that I've struck the ball out the club, at the middle of the club face or the uh, yeah, I've struck it out of the centre. The club face is pointing at my intended aim line at the moment the ball uh, left the club face and we know that the path wasn't way off. So if I get the ball moving one way or another, we know there is a difference, uh, you know, an intolerance almost in there in terms of the matchup between the club face and the club face, uh, sorry, in the path. Uh, the only other reason would be a miss strike, heel or toe. So this is really going to tell you whether you're getting it right or not, just to see if you can get that ball rolling end over end. So it's a, an exercise you'll see a lot of elite golfers doing just now and again, just to try and sort of calibrate themselves to get that ball rolling end over end. If you can get the ball rolling end over end, we can get consistent pace as well. If the ball line starts deviating, the distance the ball travels will also be off. So you won't get the, as much distance out of it without then having to hit it harder instead of sort of stroking the putt. So I'm just gonna simply try my best to try to get this ball to roll as straight as possible for us. So I'm just trying to match up the line on the ball, the putter and the mirror. And then go ahead and hit my putt, rolling it down that line. Not bad, you saw a slight deviation. It was, it was close, it tailed off a little bit to the right actually on that one. So let's see if I can do a better job on this one. I've got just the line on the ball rather than the half of the ball coloured in. Again, let's just see if I can match up those three things. Strike, club face, aim and impact and path. That was the best roll I think I've put on it all year actually. That one was end over end. You saw it didn't deviate straight in the centre. It's a tough exercise for me because I've spent a long time uh, with the path going more to the right and the club face a little bit closed, almost effectively drawing my putts. So I have to work very hard on my eye line. My eye line tends to look out to the right and my path exits a bit too much that way. And I do a lot of work with a putting mirror because that really helps me. But this exercise, if you can get the ball rolling end over end, you know you're hitting good putts. If you can start the ball where you're aiming and you're starting to get better pace control, it's all really then down to green reading. Are you allowing enough break, etc.? This exercise, yes, it's a very simple one, but it's fantastic to see how good a putter you really are. Simply draw a line on the golf ball or colour in half the golf ball and see if you can get it rolling end over end. If you did enjoy the content of the video, give us a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel as well for all the other videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 5.30. And check us out on all our social media platforms. All the info is coming along the bottom of the screen now for you. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon. Thank you.